What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Playoffs Saturday, October 17th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, MLB playoffs. Let's take a look at this two game main slate. So at the pitcher position, I don't mind Charlie Morton. I think he's a good play at only 8,000 FanDuel salary and 500 less on DraftKings. He scored 36, 36, and 30 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 21 fantasy points per game on the season, projected at 31.8 fantasy points here tonight. He's pitching an average of 73 pitches per game with an ERA of 4.74. His record is 2-2 two two on the season. He does pitch his best ball versus righty batters, giving up a .659 OPS versus righties. And he's facing six righties here tonight. Now, the Astros are batting 300 here versus Charlie Morton. So he's not going to be my pitcher here tonight. I'm going to go with Lance McCullers Jr. With a pitching advantage here versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Lance McCullers Jr., he's only giving up a .623 OPS versus lefties. And he's facing four lefties here tonight. On top of that, the Rays have only hit seven of his last 51 pitches, batting a 137 batting average. He's 8,600 FanDuel salary and 300 less on DraftKings. He's averaging 27 fantasy points per game on the season, and he scored 55, 15, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games. He has an ERA of 3.93. His record is 3-3 three three on the season, pitching an average of 80 pitches per game. Now, they only have him projected here at 22.8 fantasy points, but I think he scores more than that tonight. He's 8,600 fan duel salary, 300 less on DraftKings, and he scored 55 and 52 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Tampa Bay Rays. So I like Lance McCullers Jr. here versus the Tampa Bay Rays. Okay, let's take a look at the first base position. I got a couple of first basemen here for you. Actually, a first baseman and a catcher. So let's start with the first baseman. I like Freddie Freeman with a 32% batting advantage over Walker Bueller. Freddie Freeman is batting 34% better versus righty pitchers. He's batting a 1.114 OPS versus righties. And Walker Bueller, he's giving up a 0.642 OPS versus lefties. Now, Freddie Freeman is two for nine, so that's only a 222 batting average, but he has a 1.189 OPS versus Bueller because those two hits were both for home runs. So he's 4,200 FanDuel salary and 1,000 more on DraftKings. He's averaging 15 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 18, 19, and six fantasy points in the last three games, projected at 16.8 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Freddie Freeman here versus Walker Bueller. Now, if you're looking to save some salary here, take a look at Martin Maldonado. Now, he doesn't have a batting advantage here versus Charlie Morton. Martin Maldonado is batting a .658 OPS versus righties. And Charlie Morton is pitching a .659 OPS versus righties. So the splits don't look great, but he's 8 for 14 with a 571 batting average and a 1.414 OPS versus Morton. 
and he's only 2,800 FanDuel salary and 900 more on DraftKings. He's averaging eight fantasy points per game on the season. He scored three, nine, and 12 fantasy points in the last three games, projected at 11.4 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Martin Maldonado here versus Charlie Morton. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Jose Altuve, batting against Charlie Morton. Altuve is batting a .761 OPS versus righties. And Charlie Morton, he's giving up a .659 OPS versus righties. Now Altuve is 5 for 16. That's a 312 batting average and a 1.083 OPS versus Morton. Two of those five hits were for home runs. He's 4,000 FanDuel salary and 1,000 more on DraftKings. He's averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season and he scored 25, 9, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, projected at 14.2 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Jose Altuve here versus Charlie Morton. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Justin Turner with a small batting advantage here versus Max Freed. Justin Turner is batting a .835 OPS versus lefties. And Max Freed throws his worst ball versus righty batters, giving up a .721 OPS versus righties. Turner is 4 for 7, batting a 571 batting average and a 1.571 OPS versus Freed. He's 3,200 FanDuel salary and 1,600 more on DraftKings. He's averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season scoring 9, 12, and 12 fantasy points in his last three games, projected at 13.7 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Justin Turner here versus Max Freed. Okay, who do we have at the shortstop position? I'm gonna give you a value play here. I like Willie Adamas with a 19% batting advantage over Lance McCullers Jr. Willie Adamas, he's batting a .787 OPS versus righties. And McCullers Jr. throws 19% worse to righties as he does lefties, giving up a .770 OPS versus righties. Now, Adamas is only 1 for 5 versus McCullers, but he's only 2,400 FanDuel salary and 1,300 more on DraftKings. He's averaging nine fantasy points per game on the season, and he scored 16, three, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games, projected at 12.5 fantasy points here tonight. So I like Willie Adamas here versus Lance McCullers Jr. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. I like AJ Pollock with a 34% batting advantage over Max Freed. AJ Pollock bats 28% better versus lefty pitchers. He's batting a 1.045 OPS versus lefties. And Max Freed throws his worst ball versus righty batters, giving up a 0.721 OPS versus righties. Pollock is two for four with a 1.1 OPS versus Freed. He's 3,100 FanDuel salary and 1,100 more on DraftKings. He's averaging 11 fantasy points per game on the season, and he's only scored three, 
zero and three fantasy points in the last three games so i think he's due for a big game here he's projected at 13 fantasy points here tonight so i like aj pollock here versus max freed if you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com you can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite play for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.